the conceptual Porsche 411. Porsche has taken an evolutionary approach to the 411 rather than a revolutionary one. No matter how new or old a 911 is, it has distinct design characteristics that make it instantly recognized. And now, using the same uniqueness, Porsche will create one of the most futuristic cars ever. Is Porsche looking to change their product design completely? And when will this concept of Porsche hit the market? Let's find out in today's video. But first, please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. It would be very much appreciated. And without further ado, let's get into it. It's a self-driving electric speedster that's incredibly fast and unlike anything we've ever seen before. Porsche has a history of defying the norms with automobiles like the Cayenne SUV and the Taycan electric sedan, both of which were huge successes. The Porsche 411 is designed for a world when autonomous driving is the standard rather than the exception. Reducing the need for heavy crash structures and safety systems in existing automobiles. This allows for more aerodynamic lines and a smaller battery, resulting in less weight and improved efficiency. The seats, console, and dash all melting into one another to envelop the driver and passenger. The interior seems practically one unbroken surface even though it's still a long way from production. The 411 points to an exciting future in the transportation industry. Large automakers typically hire very accomplished designers, but production vehicles are rarely as exotic as many artists' concepts. There are various reasons for this, with most of them related to practicality and cost. One of them is Mosawi Studios' Concept 411. It could be a look into the future of Porsche's new designs also. Independent designers, on the other hand, are not bound by such restrictions. As a result, they frequently create more radical and magnificent digital versions, such as the legendary Porsche 911 Spyder. What comes to mind when you think of future cars? It's not entirely impossible to predict what the future of automobile design will be. Autonomous driving technology, all electric power cars, and shifting consumer preferences with all automakers having the potential to change what a car is and looks like. With a Porsche Project 411 concept, Hussein and Marin did just that. A classic style with a contemporary twist. The Porsche 411's recognizable silhouette is defined by its new signature fly line. Since 1963, Porsche has hardly changed. And this has influenced the DNA of all Porsche models. Although the Porsche 411 concept appears to be somewhat unusual, it adheres to Porsche's general rule of efficiency over style. For example, nobody cuts on the car, and the front end has a distinct 911 twist. The goal was to create a machine ready for tomorrow's automated highways, where cars will easily reach 250 miles per hour, making it a luxury highway cruiser rather than a record-breaking lap sports car. Porsche will employ on-the-go inductive charging in the Project 411 concepts, which would mean inductive charging strips embedded into the road itself, allowing the car to carry a considerably smaller battery. Similar to electric trains, the comparatively modest automobile battery is kept constantly charged in this way, causing the vehicle to practically suck electricity from the road as it travels. How cool is that? What is certain is that this vehicle looks incredible. The front of the car boasts vertically stacked headlamps, positioned in a way to define the front geometry while having a minor aerodynamic impact and a shrink-wrapped body shape that reduces drag while looking incredibly sleek. The car's back has a tail lighting assembly that creates a tunnel of infinite light, hinting at the concept's all-electric future. The idea was to give an electric car a dynamic appearance. The rear also incorporates movable spoilers and gives the impression that the vehicle is stretching inside. The designer said in a news release, This allows business people and the like a viable option to flying as well as a true reason to boast about that unique car. The back section of the 911 Speedster's roof is retained, with flying buttresses reaching into the upper section. 
However, the roof's remaining portion is essentially a large piece of glass that resembles a jet fighter's canopy. It's all about organic lines and aerodynamics in the back end. The roof gently slopes down to the fascia, which features a thin strip of clear red taillights. These produce an organic light bar by following the curvature of the fenders like a deck lid. While the sides of the fascia flow towards the ground to create a semi-bumper, the central section is essentially a large tube with a large diffuser. The main section appears to float inside the hole, a common aero element on modern supercars and race cars. Inside, this magnificent beast shows an all-encompassing cockpit that follows the outside design slopes and lines on the inside. Narrow bars that appear to extend from the dashboard create smooth, minimalistic curves. It doesn't have much headroom, but that's by design. So passengers have plenty of legroom to enjoy the lengthy, self-driving highway rides. It's all about relaxing and taking in the scenery. On the dash and in the seats, there are also bands of light that create a unique design. When compared to regular cars, the interior of the Project 411 concept is quite futuristic. The large windscreen in the front of the cockpit creates a spectacular appearance and links the overall concept together. Porsche plans to electrify more of its models in the foreseeable future, so Porsche 411 may not be too far away. Though the interior is minimalist, with its flowing rib material covering the seats and door panels, as well as a gold trim steering wheel, it is exquisite. It has a sleek Formula One inspired snout, dramatically beefed up fenders, and slim vertical headlights up front, completely changing the Porsche's design. It doesn't have a standard bumper, but it does have vents sculpted in the space between the fenders and the body that allow some air to pass through. When we look at the car, we notice that the interior is just as futuristic as the appearance. The vehicle seats, which have only two seats, are designed to keep the driver in an upright, comfortable position rather than concentrating on the road. Even though the car has a steering wheel, the driver may relax and enjoy the ride with autonomous driving support. Porsche also believes that people will still want to drive themselves in the future. That's why they haven't entirely removed the steering wheel. While the interior is dark, a string of lights transforms the interior like straight out of Tron. The front seats blend into one seemingly massive expanse of white material. To allow for extreme efficiency, the original design of the Porsche 411, from mechanics to tires, is all about smooth acceleration and straight line efficiency. However, it will allow for a bit of stress and curves, adding real fun in the driven mode. The quilted door panels stretch into the seats, and the driver controls a rectangular steering wheel. Does it have a speedometer or tachometer? Nothing. The Porsche 411 concept's most intriguing feature is that there is no display inside the vehicle other than the LED instrument cluster. Of course, the Porsche 411 isn't a car that we can buy and use in real life, for now, so such a futuristic vehicle should have a more advanced inside. We don't know whether we'll ever see a Porsche prototype like this, but it looks just amazing. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. The Porsche 411 isn't a real Porsche, but a concept car, and it's safe to say that the German automaker will be inspired by these designs. If they did though, would you buy the Porsche 411 if it went into production? Do you believe it contains enough Porsche heritage to get the badge? Comment below, let's engage. Also, if you're interested in more luxurious videos, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye. See you in the next one.